All right, for these two units, what I've done is I click on the unit flag and I've enabled dynamic simulation. So what that means is when you go into the attributes, you go to performance, look at dynamic simulation, make sure you enable it. And what that means is like any unit that has dynamic simulation activated, they will just be frozen or paused. Um, and there won't be, there'll be a lot less uh, server calculations while they're paused. They will become active once um, like uh, players are within 500 meters of these two units, then they'll go ahead and start their patrol. As you can see, I've, I've given them a series of waypoints. So when a player becomes within 500 meters of these two guys, dynamic simulation uh, will kick in and they will um, start moving. Um, if it was a, a manned vehicle, so let's say those two guys were in a vehicle, you can set the distance. Uh, props, that's like a moving gate or something would be dynamically, it would be frozen until a player came within a certain distance, like if it was one of those gates that automatically moved when a blue four player walked up to it. And then there's empty vehicles as well. So even though the vehicle's empty, if you if it had simulation, the server is still calculating things on it, like the damage, if there's any damage to it, if there's anybody that's in it. So if you enable dynamic simulation when the characters walked with up to 250 meters of that empty vehicle, then it it becomes alive basically. <clears throat> And that's how we'd, you would use dynamic simulation. For this one, though, it, it probably makes more sense to do AI caching because they're kind of hidden in the woods um, in this group here. I need to basically just hide them right off the trail just in case a helicopter comes by. Um, I'll just have them walk like that. Um, so we'll do AI caching on these guys. So let me um, turn on uh, dynamic simulation. I believe it's Alt D. Yeah. So Alt D then turned off dynamic simulation. And if I didn't do anything when the mission started, they would go ahead and just start walking, which obviously affects server performance. <clears throat> but what I want to do is use AI caching on these guys as well, so I'm going to say hide, which gives me the uh, show hide module. I will sync it to the leader. I will get another one, because right now it's hide group to synchronize objects. I'll change this one to show. I will sync it to the leader and then we'll come over here and get a trigger uh, and sync it to the show module, the show hide module, the one that says show. And we'll say when blue four is present, server only. And we'll make it, what do I make the other one? Hold on, what do I make this other trigger? I made this other one 175, 175 by 50. And what I'm trying to do is keep the, you know when like a helo flies over and these AI get all, you know, fixated on the aircraft. If you keep the trigger at a lower altitude, as long as the helo doesn't hit that lower altitude, then it won't. Uh, unhide the unit and they then become alive. So that one's off the map. But we'll just we'll just put it. Mm, yeah, we'll just do it right here. You kind of want that trigger towards the the. Uh, well, in this case, you probably want that trigger towards the center of the patrol. 
And this one, we'll put it in here in the center. All right, so two patrols uh, have uh, have unit cacheting on it. <clears throat> I'm not going to uh, cache the anti-aircraft, or if I did, uh, I mean, it would be a huge um, diameter because I want... Uh, I want them to actually put some threat on uh, aircraft to the uh, dynamic simulation and AI caching. So I'm in Zeus, <clears throat> and remember this unit right here, this patrol, was using AI caching. So it had a hide module, then a trigger to activate the show module when. Um, when players uh, come within 175 meters. The units that or the unit that had uh, disable or enable dynamic simulation, <clears throat> they're here, they're frozen, and they're not moving, and they do have a waypoint. These guys are set for when Blue 4 comes with 175 meters. And these guys have the uh, dynamic simulation, so they're invisible. So we will... camera over here and we will get uh, we'll just get a blue four guy within I believe 175 meters standing by and as you can see they've spawned and now they've started their patrol route If you um, if you move that blue four guy 175 meters out, the patrol still moves because now they're activated. They don't go back into hiding. Now let's see if the um, what happens to the dynamic dynamic simulation guys when he comes right here. Why does he have a waypoint? Goofball. And you saw that the AI started moving. The dynamic simulated AI started moving because uh, that one guy got within, that blue four guy got within 175 meters. The mortar team moved to the waypoint that I had. Um, that I had them activated for. Uh, this guy's creating waypoints just for the heck of it. So we'll get rid of him. And these guys look like they're frozen again. So... This is just an experiment. All right, these guys have a waypoint, they're frozen, and we'll spawn me within 175 meters. And now they're activated and start moving again. So when, uh, for dynamic simulation, whenever blue four is away from them, the 175 meters, they go back to a frozen state. Just to reiterate this AI caching, uh, we'll get a blue four unit. Ready for 
orders. And we'll get him Roger. running in that direction. And they've started moving already. You come on. There we go. Where are they at? Where are they at? There we are. The blue four. Oh, that's the wrong ones because it's two. There they are. And they're now active and moving. And they were following their waypoint. As you can see, why is he going to that waypoint? Oh, those guys are coming over here. Anyway. Anyway, as you can see, he's now spawned. And because he's not a dynamic simulation guy, he keeps moving. Now, if you remember, in uh, <clears throat> in uh, Malvern's framework, I believe it was AI scripts. Yeah. If you have AI scripts, you know you have AI and you put this uh, task in their init field. Don't use dynamic simulation or AI caching; otherwise, uh, they just stay invisible. Um, I guess maybe the dynamic simulation either stay frozen or uh, they do hide themselves. I'm not sure what happens, but he has this. That's when you, if you have units that are doing that, then don't use dis dis dynamic simulation or AI caching. And it does significantly uh, help the performance when the, you know, you have a hundred and plus AI and you have them some AI cache, some dynamically simulated, then it really helps in performance. All right, see you in that video, and I'll see you in the next one.